Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Sum of m terms and n terms of AP is m square by n square. No, we have to show that the ratio of m -th term to n -th term is 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1. S of m by s of n is equal to m square by n square. And we have to find t of m by t of n that is equal to 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1 2 we have to prove this so let's assume that we have only this equation let's write sn is equal to we know that sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so we'll write this here so this becomes sm is equal to m by 2 into 2a plus m minus 1 d this divides by sn n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d correct this whole thing this is equal to m square by n square this is given to us 2 2 we can cancel n we can cancel with this n square m we can cancel with this m square we'll multiply these two we'll multiply these two equations so what we get is n into 2a plus m minus 1d this guy is equal to m into 2a plus n minus 1d let's solve this so what we get is 2a n plus n m d minus n d is equal to 2 a m 2a into m plus m into m and d this m and d minus m d is m d we'll see that this and this is common so we can cancel so what we write here is 2a into n minus m we'll take all the part which is 2a and here all the part which is da is equal to n minus m into a. n minus m we can cancel or we can say 2a is equal to d that is the equation one we have found correct now let's take this area because we don't have much space this is the equation we have found so now we have to find tm by tn let's do here tm by tn this is nothing but a plus m minus 1d by a plus n minus 1 d correct so d we can say is equal to 2a so this is equal to a plus m minus 1 into 2a by a plus n minus 1 by 2a correct so we'll take a common this will become 1 plus 2m minus and this will become a by 1 plus 2n minus 2 a cancel so this becomes 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1 and that's what we are supposed to prove so we have proved that the nth, mth term by nth term is 2m minus 1 by 2n minus 1 simply what we have done we have found sn term SM term and SN term, we were told that SM by SN is equal to M square by N square. We equated, we found A is equal to A is equal to T. Now we know TM by TN is equal to this. In this equation, we have just put D is equal to 2A. Got the answer. Let's take one more example. So it says that sum of N terms of AP is this. This is SN. And MH term is 164 tm is equal to 164 we have to find the value of m pretty simple question so we know that s of n is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d and this is nothing but 3n square plus 5n we are told let's solve this equation this is first equation also 
T1 will all be equal to S1 because sum of one term and first term is all same. That will become 3 into 1 square plus 5 into 1 is equal to 8. So A is equal to 8. That is second equation. Now let's solve this first equation. So first equation says n by 2 a plus n minus 1 d is equal to, we will take n by 2 common here, this becomes 6 n plus 5 by 6 n plus 10 actually because n by 2 into this becomes 5 n and this is correct n by 2 n by 2 cancel or what we get 2 into a a is 8 plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 6 n plus 10 and this is nothing but we can convert this into this form only or we will say 16 plus n minus 1 d is equal to 6 into n minus 1 plus 10 plus 6 correct so here we can say we solve this we get d is equal to 6 i think we did 6 n plus 10 we, we wrote 6 n minus 1 plus 10 plus 6 d is equal to 6 and a is equal to 8 so we know value of a and d now very simple so we have been told that tm is equal to 164 is equal to a plus m minus 1 d is equal to a is what a is 8 we have found plus m minus 1 into 6 and this is equal to 164 or m minus 1 is 164 minus 8 by 6 that is equal to 26 or m is equal to 26. So we have found this. In this example we have been told that difference between any two consecutive interior angles of a polygon is 5 degree. If the smallest angle is 120 degree, find the number of sides of polygon. It is an AP where the smallest is 120 degree, next is 125 degree, then 130 degree, 135 degree, 140 degree. It goes on. We don't know. There, there should be one last number. So it's an AP with the smallest value is 120 and the difference is 5 that is a is equal to 120 and d is equal to 5 or in degrees is also in degrees we have to find the number of sides sum of this let's suppose there are n terms let's suppose there are n this is n this is first second third fourth fifth and the maximum is n this is another term that is a plus n minus 1 d d is 5 and a is 120 this is one term this is the maximum term so this is nth term so if sum of these terms is sn is nothing but n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d and this is nothing but n by 2 2a as say 2 into 120 plus n minus 1 into 5. This is the nth term. This is sum of all the num angles. Also, we know that all the angles in a triangle with n side sum is n by 2, n minus 2 into 180. This is the formula we know that sum of all the angles in a polygon with n side is n minus 2 into 180. So we can prove this also. For example, we put n is equal to 3. So we get 3 minus 2 into 180. So this becomes 180. So in triangle, we know that we have 180 degree total angle. For example, we put n is equal to 4 for square. So we get 4 minus 2 into 180. So that becomes 360. And we know that in square, the sum of angles is 360. So this formula is true. So both this formula, equation 1 and equation 2, are for sum of angle of a polygon. So we'll equate these two. So we'll equate 1 and 2 what we get n by 2 into 2 into 120 plus 5n minus 5. This is nothing but n by 2 into n minus 2 into 180. We'll take this two here. 
if you come here so this becomes n into this is 240 minus 5 so this is 235 n into 235 I'll say 235 n 235 n plus 5 n square this is equal to 360 360 n minus 720 360 into 720 this is what we get right so you solve this this you get 5 n square and this you get 125 minus 125 n plus this becomes plus plus 720 is equal to 0 so we have to factorize this we will take 5 common so this will become 5 into n square minus 25 plus 144 is equal to 0 so we have this value now we have to solve this n square minus 25 plus 145 is equal to 0 25 we have to break in such way that x plus y in the form of x plus y where x plus y is equal to 144 and x into y is equal to x plus x into y is equal to 144 and x plus y is equal to 25 so we will break in this fashion we will say x square minus 16 n minus 9 n plus 144 is equal to 0 16 into 9 is equal to 144 so we will get this x minus 16 n common this becomes 9 so here uh, we get x is equal to 9 or 16 that is the answer that means the number of sides it is n actually n n so n is equal to 9 or n is equal to 16 in any of these two cases will have the, the following condition true that is the consecutive sides have difference of 5 degree smallest angle is equal to 120 degree that's our answer so what we have done we have observed that this was AP and we knew A is 120 D is 5 we don't know the n, n number of terms so we have taken n as variable and we have then found Sn, Sn is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 20. Also we know that Sn is equal to n minus 2 into 180 because this is the formula we have. For any polygon with n side, sum of internal angles is n minus 2 into 180. And then we, we created both this equation 1 and 2 to get the answer that is n is equal to 9 or 16. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more.